Dope. Angelo. When are we going to blow this joint? I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours. Drive to Boston. How long we staying there for? Oh, I'd say just a night. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham? That's right. I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know? Say, speaking of action, look at that da dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? Smirk, incredible. Sajanek, why don't you get your pasty ass over there and give her your best line? Maybe I will, maybe I will. And get us some beers while you're at it. You still got some cash from the old broad the other night? Yeah, I got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman was so old, she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old manual here. Better old manual here. Manual here spends it on hooch than let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. Damn right. Well then, get us some beers, boy. Left click to interact, right click to observe. For inventory and settings, move cursor to top of screen, okay? Left click to interact, right click to observe. Oh, okay. Cash. Oh, this is the inventory bar, I think. Man. Observe. Some fancy looking curtains doesn't suit this dive bar one bit. Pictures. Try to decorate this down with some old prints. This guy looks like my cousin Peter, but cousin Peter he ain't. Some local goon. I'd guess this might be the owner of this here establishment. He's been giving us the look over since we walked in the door. Three beers over here. Where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of your goddamn business. Just give me some beers. Hey. Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manner, stranger. Folk are nice here in Kingsport. We look after each other. Three beers. Oh, I forgot the starting text here. I'm sorry. I'm gonna hide that as well. Oops. <clears throat> Please. That'll be two dollars, my foreign foreign friend. Did I get the beers? Two dollars right here. Three beers coming up. Gosh darn it, the barrel is dry. I'm gonna have to roll up a new one. Sit tight. Dicky eating his dinner yet? I swear. We sat a whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't so much as blink. The boy's been affected. Taking him to Doc Reeves? He'll get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since he's running with that old fella the other night. I shouldn't let the boy out so late. What happened? You know that very old man, a former sea captain of some sort? You see him around town, pays for his groceries in golden doubloons. I've heard about him, yeah, feeble and ancient. I heard he talks to bottles he has lined up on a table inside his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Mate Ellis. It's, a f it's as if he's speaking to his old crew. Yeah, a most peculiar chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to teach Dickie, a bit of respect. So what happened was Dickie threw a stone at his window, you see, and the old man caught him in the act. 
gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dicky won't talk about what exactly happened. Oh dear! He's a stupid boy. You go around throwing stones through old folks' window, windows, and well, they aren't going to be happy, no matter how feeble they are. I will told him he's not leaving the house for a month, apart from going to his lessons. He must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using gold coins for currency, the man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he captained clipper ships in the east un uncountable years back and bought back untold treasures. Sorry about the wait. Good evening. Sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. Here's some beers. Three for the two. Thanks. There's your beers. Boys, you're not gonna believe it. You're gonna stay with that broad. He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. Well, spit it out then. I heard those two chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town. So rich she pays for things with gold blooms. Heck. Good. It's light. Oh, whoa. Gold doubloons? Yeah. He's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. A rich and senile fart. Ha <laughs> ha This sounds like a cinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got to offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where's the old man's house then? Oh. Oh, that's okay. I don't know. They didn't say. Find out, Zetsanek. Find out, and we may find riches tonight. Well, women, that's one mighty fine looking broad. What she's doing in this pit of town, I don't know. No. Let's talk to the women. See there, miss. Can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, greaseball. Hey, 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 no need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Go conversate elsewhere, maybe to your mother. Ha! Huh. Struck out again, Sajanic. Suit yourself. It's some news clipping about an inc incident at the local port. They are from a paper called the Kingsport Buell. Old trip. Picture has a caption, a local Kingsport fisherman. Old postcards. Nothing interesting here, just us pictures, logo goons. Let's ask a barman. Do you know about a rich old man who lives in in town? What can you tell about about what can you tell about about those two guys at the bar? What can you tell me about that broad over there? He's in here working all the time. Doesn't look like she's up to much. What's her line of work? Why don't you ask her yourself? Oh. Now I'm on top of the text button. Fuck it. What can I know about those two guys at the bar? Hey, we're right here. Mind your own goddamn business, stranger. What he said. Later. Let me know when you want more drink. Howdy, feller. Say, fellas, what was that you guys were saying about an old man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. He sounds like a character. Indeed, he is. Shuffles about with his cane, dropping gold all over the show. He 
Is that something about bottles? Sometimes people see him through his window with a lineup of curious bottles sitting on a table. Each bottle has some sort of object inside, pendulums some say, and he's been seen to chat to them, waving his arms about. I'm afraid the old chap has lost his mind, too much time at the sea. Uh, he was a sea captain? Yes. Though back in a time nobody remembers, rumor has it he spent decades in the Far East. Some say he talks to the bottles as if they were his crew members. You guys from Kingsport? Born and bred. Me too. Where are you from? Oh, a suburb of Boston. City boy, eh? Cosmopolitan type. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. What else you know about him? You're asking a lot of questions, stranger. Yes, leave us be. Where the guy, where the fellow live? His house is along the coast, a crumbling ancient pile. It is too. One of the oldest houses in Kingsport, I venture. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you want to see him for? A treasure hunter, are you? Nah, no. Good. The last thing we need in this town is outsiders bringing their wayward criminal ways with them. So why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust you, outsiders? Traveling salesman, we wish to interview him for the local paper. We are his long-lost relatives. Not gonna believe that. We found something that belongs to him and wish to return it. We're from the tax department. He owes us money. Tax department? Yeah, let's go. Then surely you would have his address. Oh, fuck no. Get lost. Damn. I failed. Hello again. Oh, I suppose you still want his address. How do you know? What a eh. We know we can trust you, outsider. Uh, well, actually, we, um, um, we found something. What's the item? An old ornament. Let's have a look then. Um, it's out in the car. Dull dust. Get out of here. God, gosh, heckin' darn it. Hey, lady, do you know anything about a rich old man who lives in town? Oh, you're back again? Don Juan doesn't stop trying tonight, does he? I'm a very persistent... I am very persistent, ma'am. I'm a very persistent man, ma'am. I don't know the old man. You're lying. Everybody must know him. Leave me alone. Okay, barman. Do you know about the damn man? Can't say I do. You must. I don't gossip for local sir. This is a respectable town. Later. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Hello again. Traveling salesman. What are you selling? Shoes. Can we have a look at them? Some new shoes. Sure thing, I'm wearing them right here. You're wearing your stock? What better way to advertise? I got boxes of them out in the car. Hey, those shoes li look very warm. You're full of it, stranger. Lies, lies, lies. Is it really gonna be this? You expect us to believe that you're clearly not of King Sports stock. Interview. Oh yes, what's the name of the local paper then? The King Sport Bugle. Ha! That old rag doesn't hasn't been printed for years. Lies, lies, and more lies. Oh. So it wasn't the paper. Local paper? Commune? Wrong. You, sir, are a pathological liar! Can I just try again? It's a telegraph. Oh my god. 
Oh, hey, just out to ja. It's a game called The Terrible Old Man, based on an H.P. Lovecraft short story. Prefer a pathological liar. It's not none of the papers. None of these was. Tr Old good games. Hated those. And hi, the first time chatters. Old good games, good old games, good uh, old games. I can't get the fucking address, dude. I'm already dreaming of spending gold doubloons, Sonic. What are you gonna buy, Manuel? A dog, one of them real fans of one, gonna name him Jackson. Richie, you got the address yet? I'm working on it, so I need to get the address. Nothing of. Nothing. Okay, women. What are you working on apart from looking pretty? Pretty. Well, I might not look busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Yeah, what's your vacation? I'm a journalist. Whoa, a big shot. Why am I talking to you? See, you write for the paper? Yes, the Kingsport Daily Star. Okay, I needed that for the... Interesting. Now get lost before I write an article about outsider, outsiders pestering local women in bars. Okay, okay, put your knickers back on, lady. Hello again. Local paper. Yeah, there we go. Daily Star. I got mixed up before. We are from the Kingsport Daily Star. Nonsense. It's the truth. We're journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. Sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure, and chivalry. Logic of adventure games was not the same I used. Oh. Yeah, that is true. They, uh, I don't know. Maybe because they don't really test the games before releasing them. You gotta work out through every possible solution before you make the right choices. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs onto Ship Street near the shore. Outside his home are curious foreign standing stones, an unmistakable sight. Thanks, I appreciate it. Location uncovered. I got the address, boy. Good work, Zazani boy. Zazani boy. Where is it? Back entrance is on Ship Street by the harbor. I that would have made me too complicated while not adding play time. Yeah. True. Hey, we passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. Alright, we're here. What's the plan, boss? Silva, you and I will go in through this here gate. Sasanic, you stay on watch. Okay. Before we do anything, though, looks like there's a light up. Light on up there. Sasanic, can you have a better look? We gotta make sure he ain't watching us. Over there? There. 
can't see what's in the window. Got a spy glass someplace. I got a spy glass someplace. You do? In the car? Trunk? The trunk is locked by a solitary pattern. Yeah, sure. Doesn't fit. Keep the, keep the ignition. I don't have the key for that. Automobile. What the hell? Yeah, I'm already seeing that. We got a leather box strapped into the back of the ride. It's not pad. It's got a padlock and everything. Do I need to ask for a key? Say, Rich, you don't have the key of the trunk on, do you? No, I don't. Don't tell me you've lost the goddamn key, Zanuck. No, no, no. You got the key. What do you think of this place? Well, the house looks like it's seen better days. Good, we have streamers. Now I don't need to play it. <laughs> I can watch you suffer instead. Yeah. So much easier. Why go through all the trouble? Well, the house looks like it's seen better days. Hey, let's let's Gavin get to work, Sazanic. Where do you think those standing stones are from? Do you have the key for the trunk? Yes, you do. Oh, balls, I do. Here you go. Thanks. Then I need to go next to the trunk. Use the key to the trunk. Okay, a good driver always comes prepared. We got spy class, a crowbar, and some mask. Where's my cursor? Here. Okay, spy glass. Look on where I look over there. Okay. He's in there. The silly old fool looks like the easiest target we ever had. Good work, says Zanuck. He really is talking to a bunch of old dudes. As long as we are quiet out here, he shouldn't notice us. Notice us. He is engrossed in his queer little pursuits. Purse, purse pursuits. Pursuits. I think that's how you pronounce it. Exotic. You got our masks then. Masks. Give them. Give them here. Here are the masks. Okay, get that gate open. Then I need the crowbar for the gate. Get the fucking crowbar. Ha! We're in. Good work, says Sonic. Okay, so let's go in. How are we gonna play, boss? The old sea dog might not be too lo loquacious concerning his treasures. We may need to make him talk. That's if he. That's if the gold is even hidden. If he is as senile, senile as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Nice, beautiful smile. Don't go too hard on the old goat. Well, do what we will do what we need to. The screams of an old man can be easily muffled. Silva, you've hit the nail on the head. Says Sonic, wait for us in the car. We should be back in an hour at the most. Sounds like a plan, Richie. Remember, be gentle. Lights went off. One hour later. What the hell is taking them so long? What's happened? They better not have knocked, up, knocked the old fellow off. I told them. I told them I said. I told him I said don't go too hard on the old goat. Ah, 
Here they come. Oh no, it's a terrible old man. Little things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talk all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far-off days of his unremembered youth. Whose belly? Yeah. Uh, this is a really short game, I think. I don't know if it's over already. I think so. The end. It's based off a two page long HP Lovecraft story. Based on a story by, by HP Lovecraft. Thanks for watching. Bye.